All right, today I'm going to show you a quick little um, variable power supply uh, or regulator, depending on how you view it, uh, based on the LM2596. I threw this together real quick. Uh, for less than $5, the power of my networking equipment off of some lead acid batteries uh, during the blackout due to storming weather and a giant hurricane. I currently have three of them in here. You got 12 volts, 5 volts, and 9 volts. These are capable of 2 amps without cooling and 3 amps with cooling. Uh, but I won't be drawing that much. The biggest supply got 5 volts at 2 amps. But since it doesn't actually draw the full 2 amps at all times, it won't be running that high. But I put a 40 millimeter fan in here uh, to actively cool it. You got a switch, a quick blow fuse, and just showing you how it works, I got a universal power supply here. It's set to 19 volts. Turn that on. You hear the fan come on, a little light comes on. Now, as long as you got the input voltage about a volt and a half above the output voltage, you won't have an issue. But right now I'm gonna drop this back down to 12 volts you see how it dipped so as long as you're above that you're fine now most of your equipment won't really care whether it's being fed 11 volts or 12 volts so I'm not too worried about it but since these batteries start off at about 14 volts on one full charge I wanted something to regulate the voltage between uh, the 12 volt route and the router and the power supply. Opening this up, you'll see the three 2596s in there. Power is running off of the 9 volt one. The 5 volt one is in the center. And here's the 12 volt one. Not really much to it. I just threw this together real quick. And I'm hoping to see it will last under a load. I threw some hot glue in here, so I'm not quite sure how hot this will get, but hopefully it's not hot enough to melt the glue. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.